Greetings, Dennis Daniels here. This is Yi Coder or Yai Coder. I don't know what it's called. <clears throat> I've installed it uh, with my Llama instance. I uh, just installed it now, and I'm going to start uh, anything LLM. And one of the first things I'm going to check, uh, check on is whether or not Those are the tabs. Whether or not I can get uh, anything LLM to help write code for its own architecture. Uh, that is inspired by the very clever people at Fast HTML who built into their docs instructions for Claude or any other LLM right here, they developed a CTX file, which has instructions to instruct Claude how to write code. Now, developer guide for anything LLM is a lot of text, but hey, let's we'll see if we can get it to write code. Uh, prerequisites node.js. Uh, so I'm not going to worry about any of that um, right now. I'm going to just pull the data first. Actually, let's go ahead and see if we can do this. I'm going to right click anything browser, select content. Okay, and now here, uh, since I've restarted, writing a custom agent is now loaded. It goes theoretically, it will go into the writing custom directory. Let's see if we can move this around. Still can't move these up and down, which is a very annoying thing because, yeah, that's just not going to work after a while. Let's take a look. Okay. Um, all right. So this is including everything, which is troublesome because this will quickly clog up uh, the UI. I'm not going to worry about that right now. And what was in fact saved here? I don't know. What is this? I don't know. Custom documents. These are all custom documents. See, I, I can't tag these documents. I don't know what they're for, what they've done. And I don't know if this is what I just copy paid or just sent to. Okay, it says anything LLM. I can't open it. Select all, it doesn't help. I want to be able to open that file and read it to make sure it's what I want it to be. But don't have that. Uh, so let's go ahead and close that for the time being. And since we're in the writing custom, oh, and I want to make sure I set it to Yai Coder. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, agent vector chat system default system default okay here we wait 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 oh llama see the ui doesn't tell me if there's a scroll button so you have to use the the up and down button which is annoying uh, all right so i've set Okay, so now it's using the coder for this, for this, hopefully just for this agent. I don't know. I'm not going to. Um, and I'm going to close that. Let's see if the documents have anything for prompt. No. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that would be nice if the developer provided a prompt to write how to write for developing custom agent skills. I will do the best with uh, Claude. Claude is very good. All right, uh, you are a master Node.js developer. Write a system prompt for an AI, for an LLM to help you, uh, to help developers write 
custom agents for LLMs. The irony of having to use Claude to write this prompt is slightly ironic. Okay. All right, so that looks pretty good. Lots of details here, and I'm just going to copy it because I'm not going to read through it. And here is, let's see if there's a max. Okay, it looks like it took the whole thing. And again, um, here's a scroll button, and no save. I have to arrow again, no, there's no scroll bar on the right side, so you arrow down to see what's there, update the workspace, workspace updated. Okay, back to our, oh, how do I get back? I have to, okay, so you have to scroll to the top to get to the arrow, and let's, let's go ahead and digest the document, the developer guide. We'll consume that ingest it into the fetch the website huh. okay so here here is the document i'm going to move that to the workspace save and embed while it does that thing then i'll go to the json reference control c Gonna ingest another website. See again, if this was, if I could ingest the web, the document specifically to a better file structure, because this is going to quickly become difficult to figure out what, in fact, has been in, ingested. Uh, okay, so this is the next one. See, there's no time. There's no timestamp on these either, so I don't know what, in fact, is going on. Move that. Move to workspace. Okay, save and embed. And I'll go to the next one, handler.js. And just this website. Okay, again, I don't know which one it is. Hard to tell. Very hard to tell. Did it actually even happen? Okay, there it is. Move to workspace. Save and embed. Oh. Okay, data connectors. No. Oh, well, that would be interesting if there was a GitHub repo for these JSON. Uh huh. Another necessity, another nice thing to have would be. Oh, let's see if that's smart enough. No. Let's go ahead and grab. The GitHub repo. Where is the GitHub repo? Huh, this should be GitHub up here, but it's not. Home. Hmm. Ah, I'll leave it for the time being. There should be a GitHub repo up there. That's uh, an oversight. I'm going to close this and all right, so uh, write a, what do they call them here? Uh, agent. Okay, uh, let's say, well, we'll go with a simple one. Uh, write an agent. that checks the 
weather in uh, in a variety of cities mm, prompt uh, yeah prompt user for name of city very basic api call let's see what happens okay so uh, clearly this is going to take some time um not because anything llm is slow but because my computer is slow and something is happening just not very quickly so i'm going to pause this for the time being and i'll come back after something comes comes up and we're back uh, it took at least 10 minutes for my little laptop to process this and the, the problem with scroll comes back again uh, with no obvious scroll bar on the right it makes this a little dense Okay, so the original prompt was to write an open Meteo uh, API da, 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 to get the weather. And this is probably, and I haven't checked yet, but it's likely almost word for word for the one that uh, he offers here. But that, um, that's okay because uh, I told it to, and you can see that some of the stuff is here and some of the stuff is not. Um, it missed the whole hub ID, which I think is critical for the importance of this. Okay, control C, what is the, okay, what is hub ID? Mm, hub ID, because I think that was something that was, if I understood correctly, pretty important for for this whole thing to work. Hub ID appears. Okay, uh, there's used to identify. This must be the same as the parent folder name. Uh, so, uh, ye coder missed that entire thing for this particular piece of code. Let's see. Uh, I really don't like the lack of scroll on the right. And hub ID doesn't appear here. Oh, there's no search. Oh, no. There's no search in this. Oh, that's bad. Control F. There's no search. Can't search this, so somewhere maybe there's a hub ID. Anyway, uh, anything LLM using uh, using Olama uh, using Olama three with Metia with um, okay Olama <coughs> list. All right, with using ye coder, um, didn't succeed very well, but that's not any fault of anything LLM. But there's some clear issues that need to be fixed with uh, anything LLM, uh, namely, uh, where's the search in the UI? Uh, why isn't uh there a, a helper doc for writing agents what else was there oh uh, include a scroll please scroll in the UI and uh, 
and better file management UI and allow users to view the content of the what is the rollover of of the uploaded documents all right thanks for watching and uh, if you enjoyed this video please subscribe again thanks for watching and happy computing